You must construct additional pylons. Welcome back, everybody, to more Five Guardians of David here on Additional Pylons Games. We're continuing right after where we left off last time. I did some buying and selling off screen, got rid of some stuff we don't need, made a bunch of money, and got ourselves some upgraded equipment as well. Last time we were down here, annihilating the Moabites, that sort of thing. And now we're up here to Rabbah, and we need to escape Rabbah. And you can see here, Ariella is the only member of our group, so it's going to be a stealth mission. One of my favorites. Let's go ahead. All right, level description, Rabbah was capital of Ammon, also known as Rabbah Ammon. Go figure. Uh, Ammon was on the eastern border of Israel, on the eastern side of the Jordan River. And one of the oldest continually inhabited cities in the world. Interesting. It's the capital of Jordan nowadays. All right, so we are going to Ammon. Uh, as we learned last at the end of last episode, David was sending an envoy, some envoys up to uh, Ammon because the old king had passed away. So let's go ahead and get into the story. Nahash. What a name. Unfortunately. shall show kindness to son of just as his father showed kindness to me. Alright, so David and uh, the old king were buddy buddy. And uh, please accompany my There we go. Send some emissaries, paid the respects to the new king. Well that's nice. Okay. That's not good. That's an interesting, uh... It's an interesting crying guy here. It's got, like, bull horns that come up on the sides. Alright. An audible gasp. Let her go. She is but a woman. Unbelievable. Again, Ariella has been underestimated. Look at this. She is flying through the air. She is like... Man. She wouldn't be out of place in like a, a Marvel comic or something like that. Whoosh. Look at this girl go. Man. Throwing daggers, she's bounding over people. She reminds me of um, if you guys are familiar with The Walking Dead, uh, the character in the comics, Jesus. Uh, he's actually, interestingly enough, um, he is very much this fighting style, just very dynamic, very active, very f like flowing movements. So, all right, here we are, Ariella, and we've got our buddies. Here are uh, the emissaries who have had their beards shaven. All right, just real quick, this. Come on, let's get up here. This is just looking a little mysterious. I don't know. Up on the mini map, you can just see that there's a little, I don't know, there's a little portion there. All right, let's get out of the city. Do we have any new abilities? I don't think so. Smoke screen, shadow step. Uh, yeah. Assassinate and knife throw. Knife throw. The most powerful ability that she has. But look at this. Uh, she punches one box in the cage behind it explodes. She's got some sort of superpowers. All right. Smashing pots. All right. Stay here, pals. Alert! Intruders! Ain't nobody got time for that. So, okay. Big boy here. All right. He's got a horn above his head, so he will alert the enemy to our presence. So let's just not take any chances. <laughs> Throw a knife right in his face. <laughs> All right, take out that cage, and uh, let's let's see what's going on here in the side street. Oh, hey, Mr. Camel, what's going on? Oh, that's cash. Get that cash. Yeah. Fair enough. Take some artistic liberty there to include Ariel, I guess. And these guys run away. And he. Uh, what? Oh, man! Wow. 
Ariel had gotten into like a real fight. <laughs> Interesting. Picking up some pots. And uh Boom. Knife throw. Alright. And there we go. He's down. Easy peasy for Miss uh, Ariella here. All right, got to the checkpoint, and our buddies followed along. Let's go ahead. Oh, stay here. Let me do my sneak thing. Uh, take that knife throw, Ariella. She should be leading the five. There we go. She is deadly with that knife. All right, are there any caches or chests up here? There is a cache. I knew it. What does it say? If it had already conquered Moab and destroyed its people, it is entirely reasonable that Hanun's advisors should have taken a cautious view. That's fair. David has done his conquering. His fair share of it. His day. <laughs> I just checked a knife at your buddy. <laughs> Nobody bats an eye. Ooh. Did not expect you to turn that way, sir. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Take you out. Get as much XP as possible. Take no chances. Take no prisoners. Let's see Ariella away. Ariel away. All right, we're making our way through the side streets here. So yeah, entirely reasonable. David has done quite a bit of conquering in his day, so uh, you know, I'm not not surprised that maybe these guys were a little bit uh, apprehensive receiving the. Oh jeez, that's not good. I walked right into that one. <laughs> you walked right into that one. Uh. Jump and punch. <laughs> that was like a backhanded, backhanded punch or something. Man, these are some the mean streets of uh, am in here. Yeah, he didn't have to disrespect them. I can understand not trusting them, but it doesn't mean. So, uh, culturally speaking, for the Israelites, uh, and this is true even of today, uh, you've got. So we're going to take out your Moloch statues. Um, you're supposed to keep your beard at all times as, as men. So um, it's definitely a, a big disgrace to uh, Who's there? To have it shaved and to uh, basically have, I don't know. I'll, I'm not sure if the right, if like desecrated is the right word. But it's definitely a, a situation where um, that is... Very embarrassing and dishonoring. You there, halt. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally threw a pot right at his face. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I know that the the other part, uh, it, it's kind of alluded to it a little bit, but the other part of it is that he also, the king, um, Hanan, also rent their, gar he said rent their garments. Basically what happened is uh, the king took their clothes and basically cut them so that the dude so that the envoys uh buttocks their cheeks were a little exposed uh as they as they walked back so it was very much not only like dishonoring them by cutting off their beards um which as a as a man with a beard i'm not jewish but as a man with a beard it definitely is uh very uh i don't know it's definitely a part of my identity. I don't, I don't. I wouldn't say it, my identity, but it's definitely very. Uh, oh, I accidentally triggered an event before I could punch all the statues. Run, woman. Not even your god can help you now. I don't need. I don't need any help from him. What the heck? The Lord himself has saved us. Got I thought he was. I thought that captain was going like. I thought he was like going full-blown fire mage <laughs> all right well 
we don't have to escape the city just yet. Uh, a lot of XP and a lot of shekels. I want to make sure that we get this cash up here. See what it has to say. That's kind of cool. The Bible does not indicate that David sent anyone back to retaliate. Okay. Is there any gold or anything up here? No. All right. Well, we are out of the city of Rabba. And we are onward. It looks like we're fields of Amin Rabba. All right. So it looks like we're going on to the next area of this mission. So we're not quite done yet. We got to get, we're out of the city. Got to get out of the fields as well. All right. Oh, maybe not. Okay. They stayed in Jericho, too humiliated to return. Ah, so the Ammonites basically said, you were spying on us, and we're raising an army to... Tav, Maka, Zoba... Battle formations. Saw that there were battle lines in front of him as well as behind. He turned to Abishai and said to him, Take half the army and deploy them against the Ammonites. Ah, so they have to kind of split their forces a little bit. I'll help. We'll fight. Seize God, the Lord will decide. If we were survive this, that mountain of yours, the irritating one and the righteous one, I have plans for them. All right, I, where's this scar come from? Never saw anything about a scar there. All right, Joshua Bean. Among David's thirty mighty men were tasked by Joab with eradicating the Aramean king Makah. He Makah. His camp on Amasa, I guess I interpreted that as Makah. I don't care if he is Abishai's brother. I don't like that guy. David yeah. trusts him with command of all his armies. But I am also uneasy in his presence. Whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task. <laughs> now the overseer Shamalama is to be here. above reproach, faithful to oh, his life, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, Let's go. hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness. Let's go, Shama. Stop. Just stop it. Stop it. No one knows what you're saying. <laughs> I don't trust him either. <laughs> Okay, I actually found that pretty entertaining. I like that. All right, so here we are. We are... I don't know who this guy is. He's got some cool armor. Can we get this cash? There we go. Let's get that cash. The land of Ammon was east of Israel and directly north of Moab. All right, got to make sure that there's no hidden treasures or anything like that. Back around here. All right, there we go. We're going to play a little bit of time as Eleazar. Got a little bit of a clipping issue there with his back but that's okay we're gonna have some fun with his uh shield push his bull rush and his reeling hooks also his <laughs> meteor slam has got to be one of the best uh one of the best abilities that we've got in the game it's a lot of fun there we go because you just slam and everybody's stunned all right let's go ahead and hook him uh. <laughs> big slam big slam <laughs> All right, let's get this cash, get the shekels. Realized they had infuriated David by disrespecting his envoys and hired mercenaries to protect themselves from his retaliation. Well, maybe you shouldn't have disrespected the envoys then. Just saying. Seems like a it. It just seems like pretty common sense, right? All right, here's the king. He's sending his dudes over. Yeah, get in here and then. Oh my god, I like that combo. That's pretty fun actually. I like that combo a lot. All right, we have taken out one of the camps. Let's go ahead and make sure everything is burnt down and take all the shekels. All right. So uh, one of the, actually one of the new pieces of loot that uh, we got was a one-handed, they call it a dagger, but just real quick. Look at this thing. Like that, okay, that might like be considered a dagger, but that is a wicked looking, a wicked and a massive looking dagger. It's a short sword, is really what it is. Uh, okay. 
Come over here, boys. Uh, <laughs> kind of missed on that one. I can't do that. There we go. Knock him back with the shield. Give him a few good slices. There we go. Onward, Mr. Eleazar. Got ourselves to a checkpoint. And uh, we'll keep going here for a little bit longer. And then we'll have to wrap this episode up uh, in a few minutes. Not a huge rush. Big slam there. And these guys just not too tough at the moment. I'm thinking that maybe these are the, the I don't know, some of the untrained soldiers or something like that. Why? Okay. There we go. There we go. Get them shekels. Get all that good stuff. Get ourselves a cash. The mercenaries hired by the Ammonites came primarily from lands north of Ammon in Aramea, which is now known as Syria. Uh. All right, I got some new respect for uh, Eleazar here. Let's go ahead. <laughs> you see that? We just we hooked a dude and he went flying backwards because we killed him with the hook. That's pretty funny, actually. I like that. <laughs> it's a uh, ragdoll physics to the extreme. Let's uh, pull them in. Oh man, that would have been kind of cool if we could pull them into like the fire. Would have been pretty neat. All right. Here we go, and bull rush in. Nice. Oh, I like that a lot. Nice job, sir. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and take out these tents. All right. So we took out the tents, and onward to the west camp. We go. Get that checkpoint. Get in here. Get over here. Big slam. Loving it. Alright, take them shekels. Alright. And nothing down here. Alright. I thought there may there might be a cache down there. Alright, let us continue onwards. And this might be a pretty quick mission. So maybe we'll finish this before we wrap up. Big slam. Mr. Eliezer. Alright. We'll play a little bit more as Eleazar here before we wrap it up. Mm, get over here. So not a lot of damage. So Eleazar, I've kind of, I guess I've kind of built him out to be very much a, a stun, a stun tank. Joab had no reason to suspect the Ammonites had hired mercenaries, so he blindly took his troops into a trap. Huh. It's a trap. All right. Rush in, knock them all down. Pull them in. Give ourselves a little shield push. All right, get some bread. And then we got all these... <laughs> got these guys just hanging out here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, beggar network. Okay, we're almost there. So let's go ahead and just... Um, give them some shekels. Can we get to that line? That mysterious line? Does that do anything? I guess it didn't do anything. Alright, uh, well, I guess we need more money now. So let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. I don't, I don't do blues. No. No, goodbye. You gotta be kidding me. What? <laughs> Alright. No, no, that is not what I wanted. I want to leave. Okay, let's try this. No. <laughs> Every button I press. <laughs> this is like... Hello there. Okay, no. I think Joshua Beam has finally figured... Hello there. What in the world is going on? I can't get away from this what can dude. I do for you? What can I do for you? No, I just accidentally sold that. Well, I don't know what I just sold, but it's gone. And this is just the strangest bug. Um, alright. If I buy something, can I get away? No, I cannot. Alright, I'm gonna come back once I've figured this out. So, <laughs> this is just so... What can oh, I maybe if... I I don't know. Every time, everything that I go. Okay. Oh, so kind of oh, thank goodness. All right, got it, got it, guys. Figured it out. All right, we're back with Jasho Beam. Oh man, Jasho Beam, You're just wicked. Also, Jasho Beam got the uh, the tank that uh, the the big guy. Oh my goodness, the big guy that uh, uh, Benaya killed last time, the boss fight. Uh, Jasher Beam took that spear. It's a pretty sick looking spear. I do say so myself. 
Got a bunch of fancy bits on it, which I don't really know how that contributes to the uh, attack damage and the lethality of it, but you know what? It looks pretty darn cool. So we'll just, we're just gonna kind of go with it. Let's take these Aramean archers out. With a good sweep of our wicked cool looking spear. Take some shekels. Burn some stuff, poke some stuff. All right, here they come, boys. And big slam. There we go. All right. We'll take that stuff, and we've leveled up. Nice. All right, and we need to defeat Maka. Ooh, actually. Is there stuff up here? There's not. All right, defensive stance. We've unlocked some other stuff. All right, I'm going to do all that leveling up once this episode has wrapped up. Because we're probably getting pretty close here to where we need to end. So we'll, I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> that was the right button, though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, who cares if this episode's a little bit longer. I'm just going to finish up this level. So it'll be kind of, a, you know, maybe it's a little bit longer of an episode. But if it is, you're welcome. You're lucky. All right. Lots of poking. Lots of stabbing. And checkpoint. All right. Let's get these boys here. Give him a good sweep, good poke, and having some good fun here. All right, there it is. Yep, we have reached the checkpoint for Maka. Who's this big guy up here? Oh, I forgot about that slam. Lots of AoE attacks here with Jeshua. I'm totally okay with that. All right, knock him down, poke him in the face. There we go, we need to defeat Maka. Uh, apparently, are we in a boss fight already? I think, we, I guess we are. It's just a lot of ads right now. There we go, all right. There we are. Wave number two, defeated. Big miss. Let's try it again. There we go. I can't do that. Got the three dudes right behind him. All right. Yeah, there's Maka. Maka. Well done. Well done indeed. That's quite the beard you got there, sir. King David's mighty men truly are magnificent warriors. I wonder, though, are your skills enough to best me? Shamma? No. I don't want to fight with Shamma. Uh, we've got some missing audio here. Probably connected to the bug. Where I could not deselect from <laughs> from that uh no nope. uh, 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 uh. got some fire going on there have those hornets that's not good <laughs> ooh I forgot about that. I forgot about our fire spin that we got going on there. <laughs> that is too funny. The bees, the bees! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and eat that bread. Let's buff our attacks. And throw some bees at him. miss and more hornets got a little bit close here so let's go ahead and roll back throw some more bees at him yes we found your weakness king maka it's the bees we always knew it was the bees yeah and rolling rolling through a stone at his face all right dude that was a little that was a little much so there we are victory against king maka maka whatever his name is all right let's take all this stuff and then let's get out of here. Apparently, we I don't know where we would have missed any caches. Is there one down here? No. All right. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. Oh, there's the cache. Let's go get the cache. Let's wrap it up once we get the cache. We've got five out of six. I'm happy with that. Let's... The mercenaries hired by the Ammonites were not committed to fighting. It appears they quickly accepted defeat by the Israelites. Hmm. Well, that is the problem with uh, with mercenaries. You never know what kind of quality you're going to get. Anyways, 
Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Five Guardians of David here on Additional Pylons Games. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.